Are you getting error messages such as unable to connect to your internet on your Roku? Well, we've got you covered. Stick around till the end of this video and make sure to follow all the steps that I mentioned to get your Roku synced to a Wi-Fi network in no time. Now, more often than not, it's your Wi-Fi router that may be at fault here when it comes to Roku behaving like this. Roku players and TVs require a fair bit of bandwidth and internet speeds in order to properly function. In the absence of these requirements, your Roku may not be able to sustain a stable network connection. And the best way to check for issues with your Wi-Fi connection is to connect a different device to it like your phone. Using your phone, take a quick look at our channel and hit that subscribe button to make sure that your Wi-Fi is working properly. If you're having trouble browsing the internet, your network is most definitely unstable. And to get rid of such inconsistencies with your network, try power cycling your internet router. Simply unplug the router and plug it back in after a minute to power cycle it. You could also switch the network off your Roku device if you're having trouble connecting to your current Wi-Fi network. Roku devices support both the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands. So switching your connection to either of these bands should work if one of them has connectivity issues. To switch the network off your Roku, open the Settings tab and select Network. Then choose Setup Connection and select Wireless. Now choose a Wi-Fi band other than the one that you've been having issues with. Enter the password to establish a connection. Once connected, you can check the status of your connection directly from your Roku by accessing the Network tab once again and selecting Check Connection. Once the test is complete, you'll get a comprehensive account of the status of your network. If the signal strength seems to be low, your Roku might drop the network as a consequence. To avoid this predicament, try placing your internet router or your Roku as close to each other as possible. You could also opt for Wi-Fi extenders to further enhance the signal. Now, you could always opt for a wired network connection if you can't get your Roku connected to your wireless network. But not all Roku devices and TVs support an Ethernet connection. Here are all the devices that feature an Ethernet port for a wired connection. Now, for most network-related issues on your Roku, the ultimate fix is to reset it to its factory defaults. In performing a factory reset on your Roku, all your configurations and settings gets reset to its factory defaults. But gone too are all the residual files, the bugs and system errors that might have been the core reason behind your Roku not connecting to your Wi-Fi. To factory reset your Roku, head over to the Settings tab and select System. Now navigate to the Advanced System Settings tab and select Factory Reset. Confirm your selection by choosing Factory Reset Everything. Once your Roku has been reset, set it up once again from scratch. After that, check if you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding Roku not connecting to your Wi-Fi network. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Roku content like this.